Here's the story of Hagar and Ishmael from Genesis 16. Imagine being so desperate for a child that you'd give your servant to your husband, hoping it would fix everything, only to watch it all fall apart. That's what Sarai did. She and Abram had been married for years but still had no children, despite God's promise that Abram would father a great nation. Time passed and doubt took hold. In desperation, Sarai suggested a radical plan. Abram should have a child with her servant, Hagar. Perhaps this was how God intended for them to build their family. Reluctantly, Abram agreed, and soon Hagar became pregnant. But instead of solving their problems, it only created more. Hagar, now carrying Abram's child, began to see herself as more important and looked down on Sarai, who had struggled with infertility for so long. Hurt and jealous, Sarai treated Hagar harshly, making life unbearable for her. Feeling alone and desperate, Hagar fled into the desert, running from the pain she faced at home. Lost in the wilderness and believing she had nothing left, Hagar found herself at a spring of water. It was there, in her lowest moment, that something incredible happened. An angel of the Lord appeared to her and asked gently, Hagar, Servant of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? Hagar, overwhelmed, replied, I'm running away from my mistress Sarai. But the angel didn't condemn her for running away. Instead, he offered words of hope. Return to Sarai and submit to her, for the Lord has heard your cries of suffering. The angel also gave Hagar a promise. She would have a son and his name would be Ishmael, meaning God hears, because the Lord had heard her pain. Ishmael would grow into a strong and independent man, destined for a life filled with challenges, but God would always be with him. In that moment, Hagar realized she wasn't alone. Even in the desert, she had been seen and heard by God. With renewed hope, she returned to Sarai, holding on to the promise that God was with her and her child. Hagar later gave birth to Ishmael, a living reminder that in the deepest moments of struggle and loneliness, God hears. As Ishmael grew, he became a strong and resilient young man, just as the angel had foretold. Though life was often difficult, especially as the son of a servant in Abram's household, Hagar never forgot the moment in the desert when God saw her and heard her cries. The name Ishmael remained a constant reminder that no matter how hopeless things seemed, God listens, and he has a plan greater than anyone could imagine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss my future videos.